some of my patient present to uh, me as a infertility specialist with uh, secondary infertility or subfertility we call them uh, because they have few pregnancy loss before so if you have by definition two pregnancy losses before uh, we call you or stamp you as a recurrent pregnancy loss. Now, this is a very depressing condition. I will say not painful, but depressing condition because once you have a joy of pregnancy and after that you lose the baby and it's a kind of a bereavement for you. So definitely it is, there are plenty of reasons for it. So if you present to your doctor, uh, we can do some investigations, some lifestyle management, some genetic analysis and uh, some of the cases we have some treatment because if you have some problem like you know diabetes that is also that can also if it is uncontrolled diabetes, thyroid these are the problem can cause uh, recurrent pregnancy loss so it is easily treatable. Sometimes a problem called APLA or antiphospholipid syndrome that is also another treatable cause of recurrent pregnancy loss but sometimes some genetic cause some other cause unexplained cause are there so those are not always treatable but to know it is unexplained, you have to do few investigations. So if you have a pregnancy loss, please uh, present to your gynecologist so that we can do few tests and try to explore the reason of the loss. And then accordingly, we can treat you. But as a general uh, advice, I will say maintain your healthy lifestyle your, uh, because it is a cellular material, basically egg and sperm cell, they fuse and make a new pregnancy or new baby's body or zygote. So the aberration can happen, genetic aberration can happen in, you know, you know, it's very common to have genetic aberration basically. And human fertility is that, like that, that only 20 or to 30 percent um, of the embryo we can make that will implant and make successful pregnancy and deliver. Rest of the embryos, even if it is formed, it is going to, uh, you know, come out with your menstruation or, you know, it is not going to implant or even if it implant, it miscarry. So there are, if it is a genetic reason, yes, there is genetic reason and mother nature is the best judge. When there is genetic abnormality, mother nature will not allow the pregnancy to survive. So these cases, you know, genetic um, you know, modification we cannot do but if you are a healthy person if you uh, do not have any addiction if your body weight or BMI is normal the, you do not have any disease or even if you have disease like diabetes mm, blood pressure thyroid you control it nicely and maintain a good healthy lifestyle with some exercise and eating a healthy nutritious diet then at least you have all the you know good thing to make your gene normal because most of the times we see the parental karyotype or the gene is usually normal. Very rarely some of us carrying abnormal gene or we call them as this, um, it's, a, it's a gene abnormal team in summer, abnormal gene is, uh, that causes recessive, very rare, rare recessive disorders, which is also very rare. And uh, some, uh, most of the time, genetic abnormalities acquired genetic abnormality. So if we can, uh, our we can make our lifestyle good, our genetic material will be good, and chance of this aberration happening, which is you know otherwise common, will be less. And uh, then you have a successful pregnancy, but like APLA, you have need to have some treatment, some medications like aspirin and uh, heparin that your doctor is going to prescribe. It is not for all, but for some patients, yes, you need to take it throughout your pregnancy to have a successful outcome and repeated uh, monitoring of the pregnancy. So basically take some folic acid vitamin supplement before you fail pregnant, make a life healthy lifestyle and then fail pregnant and the pregnancy usually, uh, if, you are, if, if you are extremes of age, like especially my patients are uh, towards the higher uh, age means more than 35 days then there is chance of miscarriage also increases because the aberration of genetic 
material increases with age. So you need to, uh, you know, it is your choice when you want pregnancy. Of course, your care, you need to balance between your career and your, um, you know, time of pregnancy. But always keep in mind that our reproduction, so our female reproduction, it is, of course, it is age related because we have a menopause or end of our reproductive life. So when we are approaching towards our end of reproductive life, then genetic aberration increases and that is that's how nature works. So make your uh, life uh, is a balance between your career, your pregnancy and uh, then and if the lifestyle is good and avoid any addiction so you can help yourself to prevent this recurrent loss.